Wakey, wakey! To a new episode of Detroit Become Human. We are once again back, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Nick. I am guiding you through this basically telltale story driven game, but on steroids. Where decisions will actually matter. I would like. Well, I'm hoping that will be true. I can see you probably get. Based on what I can see with like the branching timelines or event lines. I think you could probably get three solid playthroughs. It really depends on if the payoff will be worth it or not, so... I'm sure that given the scope of this game and how forthcoming they are with how everything is branching, then... You could probably say, yeah. It'll, I think the payoff will be good enough to play this game probably three times. Anyways, we are back in cyber life, I think. Their HQ. Every time we meet with Amanda, we go like deeper and deeper into this area. Can I cross the lily pads? No, I cannot. Where the hell is she? What the heck is this thing? Okay, going around did not prove to be fruitful. Oh, there she is. It was worth just to touch the console. Banzai! Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. You would like me to row for you? Okay. I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. She saw. Why didn't you shoot? We need the deviants intact for analysis. Shooting them wouldn't have taught us anything. That was a lie. That was such a lie. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Yeah. 
Let that one kid go. Didn't shoot them this time. That's twice now we failed. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. Sorry, Lieutenant. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. You check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. One of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. Not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The Deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Whatever. The FBI have been taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Well, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crap scene. What a fucking prick. Mm -hmm. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. Investigate all the things. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. The eyes, man. <laughs> Zoom in. What else? Aha. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. He lied. He's 
Hold them back. Build me a story. Oh yeah, I gotta watch the video, don't we? No signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. He turned them. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Let's go have a chit chat. You all look the same to me. GB300, serial number 336-445-581. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. <laughs> what? Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. I feel like threatening a they don't really worry about guilt. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! They shouldn't fear death. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you.
Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Knife out, hold the knife out. Hank! Hank! I need help. Come on, dude. I have a feeling they're all deviant. Crawl for victory! Oh, lots of time. Lots of time. No problems. Took a bullet for you. Uh oh. Still deciding if I was gonna shoot myself or not. Huh. It's a lot of stuff to go through here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. That's an episode. That's a chapter. That's a wrap. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully Connor will be okay. We'll find out in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, have an awesome day.